a day of new things. A new resort, Disney's Riviera, and two brand new dining experiences to us. Roundup Rodeo Barbecue at Hollywood Studios, and then Nine Dragons tonight at Epcot. Welcome to Hannesty's, I'm Dan and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again for another Walt Disney World vlog. This is the last time of this trip standing on this balcony at the Grand Floridian Resort as we are moving to the Riviera today. And I have to say that um, it's a bit bittersweet. I think I should have booked them the other way around. I think I should have done Riviera first and then Grand Floridian second. Um, only because we love this resort so much it really does feel like home and to be leaving it feels like a kind of like a last day feeling even though we've got a week to go so I might have booked them the wrong way around but I am also really excited to go and see the Riviera for the first time as well anyway let's go and check out and uh, go and start exploring Hollywood Studios Galaxy's Edge <laughs> Bye, thank you, have a good day. <laughs> Bye, I'm going to do it. Love the shirts. That is so great. I think you should get one of these. your services, yeah. I don't know, but I'm more of a resistance Jedi guy. As I said to you before, they do transfer your luggage for you. So we just dropped our four cases off at Bell Services. They give you a receipt with a barcode on it. Uh, and my luggage, or our luggage, will arrive at the Riviera Resort between 2 and 5 p.m. today. Our check-in is until 4 p.m., so hopefully it'll be around the same time that we get there. Uh, but we'll let, let you know how that goes, hopefully nothing goes wrong with it. Jesus, look at the size of the bum. So we've just arrived at Hollywood Studios. Again, Disney buses were a pain in the ass, to be honest. I hate them. Um, I'm not a fan, am I? It's very impatient people yeah that's true i am impatient but disney buses make bring out the worst to me for sure one of us is a little bit hung over this morning after the dessert no, party no, 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 no. i'm not hung over i just feel like that like sloppy like tired like hung over <laughs> <laughs> yes maybe a bit yeah. maybe a bit actually yeah, yeah. But, but, the wines in the dessert party were, I think, okay. I think what did it was the gin when we got back to the room. Yeah, but you also had beer as well. Beer, wine and gin. That's a little piss there, people. No, but beer and wine is okay. Beer oh. and wine, oh, that's fine. Wine and beer, oh my dear, in that order. There you are, e expert advice from the little piss there. <laughs> 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 so anyway, we are now at Hollywood Studios. It is so busy here today. It's that I think it's the, still that bank holiday weekend I told you about, Columbus Day weekend or something. Um, but today wait times here are like 240 minutes or something. I think it's for Rise of the Resistance. So we're not going to do many rides. We're basically here to be close to the Riviera for when we get called for our room to check in. Um, so we're here this morning. Um, we're going to do some shows. We've got Roundup Rodeo barbecue book for lunch. After that, we're probably just going to head back to the Riviera and start having a look around there. I hate busy parks. I'm so impatient. But there's nothing on there. Even um, Star Tours is a 45 minute wait this morning. That's a walk on most days. In fact, I've never not walked on. It was five minutes the other day. It was five minutes the other day. So um, I think it's been busy in here. We're going to get some photos. We're going to get some food. food. We're going to get some shows in um, just to kind of fill the time until we can check in. Anyway, we're coming up to security now, so we'll have to stop filming. So one day tickets for today for Magic Kingdom is 169 bucks. Epcot, 159 bucks. Hollywood Studios, 169 bucks. And Animal Kingdom today is uh, 154 bucks. So a park hopper ticket for one day then that's going to set you back 238 bucks that's today's prices uh, on the 9th of october here he comes the little bugger <laughs> i heard you here comes the little bugger <laughs> <laughs> how was your search it was right i mean gosh she took everything out but it's fine they're just doing their uh... show me on dolly where did they touch you <laughs> <laughs> Do you think cousin Amanda might be in there today? Probably, that's her day off. 
She was one of our favourite servers, wasn't she, so far on the trip? She was really good fun. And Richard last night, he was very cute, wasn't he? Yeah, he was really sweet, a Jungle Skipper Canteen. If you go to 50's Primetime Cafe, ask for Amanda. If you go Jungle Skipper Canteen, ask for Richard. Richard. They're both really, really great. 50 minutes for Star Tours, the other day, all day, that was five minute line. Crazy, right? And speaking of Star Tours, we are coming up to that right now. So Genie Plus here for today would be $27 each. We didn't really think that was worth the money um, as we're only going to be here for a few hours and really so we're probably going to get like one or two rides out of it so we're not going to do that today. We're going to skip the rides today and just enjoy the atmosphere, the shows uh, and get some photos and some food. Goofy's doing a little uh, meet and greet over here. Little photo pass opportunity with Goofy today but look at the queue for this as well. I don't know if it goes into Galaxy's Edge, let's have a look. Yeah, it does. Just. As soon as you come in here, you automatically feel you're in a different theme park. It's such a weird feeling walking through that tunnel. You feel like you're coming completely different. How much are the helmets? Wait. Oh, 80 bucks. Actually, I thought they were going to be about 150. Do you want more? Do you know what? When I was a kid and I loved Star Wars, I would have gone absolutely berserk for that. It's quite a nice top there. The brown one, I like that. The brown's my least favourite colour, but I quite like that. Would you like me to tell me how much it is? Yes, please. 50 bucks. <laughs> Hi, Mando. Did you spend that lot of money? That's quite cute. Yeah, it's really cute. Oh, have the goods. What have you got? Blue milk? Green milk? So on the last trip we tried the blue milk, so I think we'll try the green as well today, give that a try, see what it's like. Here we go. It's got like a little citrusy flavour to it, it's really nice. It's good. And then the blue we obviously had last year. What's that on your shirt, sir? Oh, I wouldn't support them. You know that they steal children from their parents and tell them that they can't have feelings? I'm talking about the Jedi, of course. Speaking of Jedi, look at this. Giving out lightsabers to young people with what looks like minimal to no training. Put that thing away before you hurt yourself. Or worse, someone else, another child with a saber. They're just giving it out like they're toys. Please, friends, come closer. I know you must be scared. The good news, sir, an employee of the month. Congratulations, by the way. Good to be recognized, isn't it? The good news is, order has been restored to Black Spire Outpost. First Order is now firmly in power. Thank you. It's exciting, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know where you got those tiny lightsabers, but I aim to find out. Lieutenant. Stay right there, please, all of you, and prepare to be questioned. Now, For the order. The Supreme Leader would like a word. Clear the way. <laughs> Move aside. Thank you. Oh, blaster. That's affirmative. So what do you think of the green milk? I don't know. It's nice. It's a bit like lemony, isn't it? It's more citrusy than this one, isn't it? More, more citrusy than the blue one. Which one do you prefer? To be honest, I like them both. I really like them both. I, I would happily have either of them. We're looking for a weak way pilot named Your Your is noted. He needs to answer a few questions. Do not disappoint us. I've been trying to get recognized myself recently. It hasn't worked out for me. Can you give me a secret? Give me your secret? Yeah, basically you have to um, really look after Kylo Ren. Supreme Leader? Okay. Yeah, you have to look after the Supreme Leader. Yes. In every way possible. Okay. And make sure that you do not upset him. Perfect. Any hints like bringing him blue milk? 
He, um, he loves blue milk, but with a little bit of rum in it. Rum? Stormtrooper Adams. That's yeah. an unusual name, but mm. I guess that explains why you got recognized. That's why I got recognized, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, he likes a little bit of rum, and if you can get the Malibu that's got the coconut in it as well, it really does soften he him up. He likes that? He loves that. That's very, very strange. I would keep that between us, all right? Yeah. I'm not going to repeat that, all right? Um, How did you get granted leave, by the way, Stormtrooper Adam? Uh, well, when you win in Spring Leaders well. here, Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper Adam has been recognized as Trooper of the Month, and for this momentous achievement, we are giving him leave for one hour. Enjoy it. I think you have 43 minutes left and then you have to get back in uniform and back to Sector 7, all right, to gather resistance but intelligence. But you enjoy those next 43 minutes, Stormtrooper Adam. Please, the Supreme Leader is here. Offer him the respect that he deserves. You know what to do, don't you, Stormtrooper Adam? Get him some rum. Oh, that's right. Sounds like someone's booing, but it's so weak that I can barely hear it. Stormtrooper Adam? on me. What? Sorry, guys. We have we eyes on you. Just as we're walking through Toy Story Land, it's going to be some wait time. So, Alien Sweaty Sources is currently 65 minutes. 65 minute wait for a one minute ride. The wait for Slinky Dog Dash is now 180 minutes. That's a three hour wait. We are not waiting for any of these rides today, by the way. Just, just to be clear, we are not waiting. Woody and Jesse posing for photos over here. Current wait for Toy Story Mania is 110 minutes. That's nearly uh, a two hour wait. Almost. So that wait for Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is actually 75 minutes. I would have stopped to show you, but um, we were rushing for Indiana Jones and we actually missed it anyway. So um, it was full and it already started. So we weren't allowed in, but that's fine. So we're going to go and head across to do the Frozen Ever After sing along. <laughs> Day. Do you want to build a snowman? The window is open, so is that door. I didn't know they did that anymore. Okay, can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. Well, you know, can I say something even crazier? Yes! <laughs> Yeah, it was cool. Oh, I didn't know it was going to snow at the end. That was good, wasn't it? It's quite a nice little show, and the humour in it actually is aimed at adults as well, isn't it? Yeah. There's not just uh, kids who don't discount it thinking it's just a kiddie thing. It really it's is for everybody. It's to sing along with the Frozen songs, isn't it? We checked on the app um, for our lunch at Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. 15 minutes early, and we've been called immediately, so we're just walking there now. Let's go have some lunch. So I've had kind of mixed reviews about this place. Most of them bad, but I want to try it for myself. I'm one of these people that likes to do things myself rather than just listen to recommendations. So this is our first time eating here. It's the newest restaurant at Hollywood Studios. So we're gonna give it a try. And hopefully it'll be good, good news for to report back. You hungry? I'm just, I'm just so hungry, I just wanna eat. You haven't mentioned it at all. Are you enjoying being a toy so far? Yeehaw, she was very into it, wasn't she? <laughs> so as we sat down, we have three different sauces here. We've got spicy, classic, 
and sweet. And it's kind of a set menu in here where you basically uh, pay a set price and you get a bit of everything. If I were you, you, I'd order a beer in here. I think you're going to need it. And honestly, she, we come in the door and she's like, Oh, what's your favourite toy? Oh, do you want a horse to run? I'm like, just take to the fucking <laughs> Someone's a little bit hungry today. Just out of interest though, what is your favourite toy? I said I didn't know. I was like, I don't even know what I meant to say. So we've been seated really quite efficiently. Um, our server Gina from Florida is lovely. She's really, really funny. Um, what a fun toy she is. Anyway, onto the menu. So um, you start off, you get three salads. You get all three of them and then you choose from a meat platter or a plant-based platter we'll obviously go for the meat platter which is um, smoked ribs, beef brisket, um, sausage, uh, fire grilled pork sausage and barbecue chicken with style and then there are eight sides available but you get to have four included so we're going to pick from four then for dessert you get to choose one there's a lemon and blueberry cheesecake, a chocolate silk pie, an apple pie a peach and strawberry pie. Uh, for drinks, they've got some cocktails. They've got some uh, or grown up drinks with alcohol. They've got some kind of like a speciality soft drinks. Then they've got beers, ciders uh, and some wine as well. So we have um, a, a green salad here with some apple in it. We've got a watermelon salad, some tomato and cucumber salad over there, which I will not be partaking in. And then we've got some kind of um, biscuits here. I'm going to taste that dip quickly. It's cold. It's like a kind of, it's not sweet chilli, but it's kind of like a sweet pepper dip. How's that biscuit? Do you like it? We've got bucking, be bucking beans. That's one word for it. Don't try to let off too many We've beers. got jalapenos, we've got like sausage, we've got steak, chicken, pork ribs. Corn, potato barrels, and macaroni cheese. Stinky dog mac and cheese. I can tell you I've tried the sweet and the spicy already, and the spicy is not spicy. Is um, it not? No, I, I, I didn't think it was spicy at all. Um, Disney spicy. This Disney spicy, but the kind of less spicy end of that I would even go with. Chicken good? The bean tonight. This is the peach and strawberry pie, right? How is it? It's got cinnamon in it. I think. Do you like that? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's not good, it's just okay, is it? It's okay. It's okay. He's gone back in for a second spoon, which he's not liking with desserts, so it can't be that bad. So we've got the peach and uh, strawberry pie, and then we've got the forky cupcake which has got some kind of ganache in it. I'm gonna start with a little strawberry shoelace because I love these. Jesus. It's like a, it's a soft cookie that's got like a fondant icing on it. Ganache, chocolate cupcake and then like a kind of frosting on top. Quite nice but nothing amazing. The kids will love this. But if you're an adult, I'd probably give it a miss. Sid's coming guys, hi! Sid's coming! So we have just finished in Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, our first time eating in there, and it was alright, wasn't it? Yeah, it was okay. It was a bit weird when we first went in. Uh, when you first go in, they start telling you about your toy and about kind what's of your favorite toy? what's your favourite toy, and it's a little, it's a little bit weird as a couple of adults. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I would say for me, it's a one and done. Unless I come here with somebody that really wants to go there, then of course uh, I'll do it again. But I wouldn't. A toy set of four? Uh, I wouldn't rush back there myself. Um, there was nothing wrong with it. Um, I think it would benefit by having some characters in there. Um, only because 
It's one of the busiest days I've seen at Hollywood Studios ever. Um, it's lunchtime, 1.30 we went in, and they had so many empty tables in there. Yeah, the beef was probably the nicest thing of the meats. Sausage was good, the chicken was good, I didn't have the pork. Um, of the sides, I liked the potato, ta uh, the tater tots, potato barrels, whatever they were, they were good. The corn was very nice, I don't know it was on the corn, but that was very good. Um, overall, like the food was alright, it was just nice. It was $45 per person for the set menu, that includes the starters, the appetizers, or starters we say, the entrees and the dessert. For me overall, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, it was perfectly fine. Um, but I wouldn't rush back to it. What about you? Yeah, I wouldn't rush back to it either. I'd give it 5 out of 10. The food was fine, but it's just like regular barbecue food that you would do at home. Mm. No, it's okay. But I don't think we won't, we won't be going back there. Anything I said you disagree with? No, never. Oh, that makes a change, doesn't it? So anyway, that's um, Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. Um, it's so, so busy here today. I don't think we're going to kind of hang around for too much longer. Uh, we're probably going to head now to the Skyliner, to Riviera Resort. We'll have a look around there, get a drink and wait for our room, I guess. Is that alright? Mm. Yeah. Alright, cool. We'll take you along on the Skyliner. That's creaky, isn't it? Wow, look at that. It's amazing. Bye, Dal. Daisy, <laughs> give us a twirl. Here's a 12, spin! Woohoo! Amazing! <laughs> Sassy! So we've just done the little Walt Disney Presents. video thing about his life, which was cool. Um, we just left the park now, we've just got a quick photo with the photo pass with the 100 sign here at Hollywood Studios. We're going to get on the Skyliner and head to the Riviera. So for those of you who don't know, this is the Hollywood Studio Skyliner station. You have to walk past the Skyliner station to get to the buses. The bus station is after the station, just um, on the left hand side. And this is how you get into the Skyliner. It's always nice if you come here and there's no line. But if there is a line, don't let that put you off because it moves really, really fast. And we now have to change to go to the Riviera. The Riviera is on the same um, skyliner as Epcot. So you take the one to Epcot and then that will take you straight to the Riviera first. So what do you think of the skyliner the first time oh, on it? I don't know, it's a bit scary, isn't it? Scary? I think it's really efficient. It's very quick. Do you think when we go to Epcot we don't have to even change? It goes straight there from here? So that's a huge, huge, huge benefit of staying at this resort, I think. I've never been to this resort before. You've never even seen this resort before, right? Yeah, oh yeah, no, never even. So this is, this is new for both of us. And I'm really excited to be showing you something new as well. So this is the first time I've seen this resort close up. I've seen it from the Skyliner, I've seen it from the bus. Um, it's actually quite nice as you're approaching it. What do you think? Very nice. Uh, looks like Nelson Mandela House, doesn't it? In uh, Only Fools and Horses. Nelson Mandela House, really. <laughs> Quite a beautiful fountain, first up. And then these mosaics go all the way over, so you can see they just swivel you down there and then bring you back down here to Neverland. And then this one here is Rapunzel on Tangle Food, I believe. Let's have a look at this one. So here we've got Rapunzel's Tower. And it goes all the way up. And like the other one, the mosaic goes um, across. And it just swivel around with you. And then as you can see, all the beautiful lanterns. <laughs>
start our room tour of our new room at the Riviera. A word I find much easier to say than Floridian. Um, so this might be a bit easier to vlog now. Um, so what do you think of our, of our new room? Yeah, it's good. Do you like it? Yes. So we're all checked in at Riviera. We've been through our room, which is lovely. Hopefully you saw it in the room tour. Um, we've unpacked. One of us has had a nap. That wasn't me. We've had a shower, we've changed, and now we're heading to the Skyliner to Epcot for dinner. We're going to Nine Dragons in the China Pavilion, another restaurant that doesn't get great reviews, typically. Um, it doesn't get really bad, horrible reviews either, but people say it's um, no better than the average Chinese restaurant in America. So we'll give that a little try tonight, see how that is. And then we're gonna watch Epcot Forever, we didn't see it the other night. And then we may stay and do the extended hours for deluxe resort guests tonight. Try and get a couple of rides, including that Ratatouille ride. We've not done that yet this trip, and I'm really, really looking forward to doing that again. Hi. Hi. So you've been on the Skyliner a couple of times now today. What's your thoughts? So, I, I think I'll get used to it. It's I a had a little bit of sweaty hands going up. <laughs> but it's efficient, isn't it? Like, how long would it have taken us to get here otherwise? On those buses, loading people on, loading people off. Can you get one to yourself? I don't like being in there with other people, it's a bit awkward. You mostly do get them to yourself on here? But of course, um, not always. Um, so I had my little search. We're now scanned in. We're coming through the International Gateway, which is in the World Showcase between the France and the UK Pavilion. Uh, that's where the Skyliner drops you off. And also you can get to the Boardwalk, uh, the Beach Club, the Yacht Club, the Swan and Dolphin Hotels as well through this exit. It's a really nice place to go for a little break as well from the madness of Epcot. You can go out and kind of visit a hotel and chill out in the lobby or go and get a nice drink or they've got the beaches and cream soda shop at the beach club. So yeah, the International Gateway entrance is a good place to exit if you're having a bit of a busy, stressful, hot, crowded day. Um, but also as well, this is a good place to come in in the morning uh, because you're so close to the Ratatouille ride because everybody else will come in the other side of the park. So you'll get in, you'll get to do Ratatouille, you'll probably get to frozen ever after within the first hour of your day. Epcot is really, really quite busy tonight. Lots and lots of people. Not dissimilar to Hollywood Studios earlier on. I've got no idea what the wait times for the rides are, I've not looked. We will have a look at the attractions. They've got, as I said before, they've got the extended hours tonight for the deluxe resort guests. So we're gonna try and do some rides then, I think, when, the, when there's like low waits. And maybe some popcorn from the Werther's Caramel Coo shop. That's very good, isn't it? Okay, so we are now at Nine Dragons in the China Pavilion at Epcot. Uh, hopefully um, you saw us outside and I didn't mess that up in the footage, which is something I do quite frequently. But um, the first impressions restaurant is, it's actually nice. It's not super busy in here. It is half past seven in the evening. It is a prime time for dinner. So you would think that Epcot restaurants would be much busier than this. Um, but I'm not surprised because I do hear that it's not a particularly busy restaurant and it's not like popular with a lot of people. However, when you come in, uh, it does look very really nice. It is quite authentic Chinese, but the menu is really quite basic. It's just a single piece of paper rather than like a nice menu you'd open up and, and have a look at. It's got all the kind of things you'd expect, the staples, the bayo buns, the pot stickers, the dumplings. It's got kind of a little bit of everything you'd expect. I've gone for the chef special which is uh, a couple of dim sum. One is with chicken and one is with crab. So I'm gonna give both of those a try. That looks really good. David's gone for the Sichuan chicken dumplings, which are steamed dumplings. He was quite 
keen to know if they were steamed or whether they were fried. They are steamed. So we're going to try these now. We've also got a couple of drinks. David's got a draft beer, which is a Dragon Blossom draft beer. And I've gone for the Bio Mo, which is a cocktail that has Bayou spirit, I don't know what that is, um, peach schnapps, mango, orange juice, and sparkling water. So we'll crack on, we're gonna tuck in now, and then we'll tell you afterwards about the food. Okay, so I had the, um, what did I have? Sichuan chicken dumplings. Sichuan chicken dumplings. They were good, they were steamed, but they unfortunately came sprinkled with like a whole load of raw onion, which was just, I mean, you don't need that with dumplings. Just on a plate on their own was fine, but the sauce was really good. It had a little bit of a heat and tang to it with chili, so yeah, it was okay, really. Beer's okay, it's got a little bit of a weird taste, but I don't know a taste of what. So I had the dim sum duo, which is a chef special here tonight. Um, the chicken one was really, really nice. It was mint, chicken, the dumpling was really nice. Um, the two sauces, the soy and the sweet chili were great. And then I had one that was, I, I thought was crab, but it is crab on the menu, but it says it's a cheesy crab. Well, I was playing hunt the crab in those dumplings because there was not very much crab in there, I can tell you. Um, and I think it was crab stick, which isn't even technically crab. It's more of a kind of, just a white fish that's flavored crab. Um, but very little crab in there. It was like a cream cheese dumpling, um, which was fine, but it wasn't really what I was expecting. And my cocktail's really nice. Um, I don't know what the liquor is, but it's really, really good. I've just finished eating at Nine Dragons, and I hate to say it, but the, the kind of reviews we had before were kind of right. Um, there was absolutely nothing wrong with it. The restaurant is quite ornate, it's quite beautiful. Um, the servers and the staff here are really, really genuinely lovely. Um, they, they can't be more helpful, more attentive. The starter I had, as I said, the um, crab wonton particularly was disappointing because it was just like cream cheese and a wonton, which is weird, right? Uh, that's, not, that's not a special, that's just weird. And then the spicy honey chicken was a huge portion that we should have shared. Um, I ended up wasting about a third of it, which I hate to do, I hate wasting food. But it was just too much to eat. We both had the same honey chicken. It was meant to be spicy honey chicken, but it was definitely Disney spicy, and it, because it had very little spice to it. It was really sweet, it was really nice. It came with rice that was well cooked, and it came with kind of like boiled broccoli, which was cold, uh, which I didn't really care for. The bill for here has come to $93.46. That's for two appetizers two entrees, a beer and a cocktail. It's quite cheap compared to most meals we've had here. Probably one of the cheapest I would say actually. So in terms of value for money, if you want a good filling meal for a low price, then this is a good place to come. Um, overall, I would say a five out of 10 for me. Um, there's nothing really there's nothing really bad to say. Nothing particularly stand out or amazing, but it was good. It was a big portion, it was filling. Yeah, and the service was great. Five out of 10. For me, honestly, it's gonna be a four out of 10. Um, service was great. There was nothing wrong with the service at all. She was really good, like you said. Um, we can honestly get food better than that in our Chinese takeaway in London. So it just really wasn't, it really wasn't good at all. Um, yeah, no, not good. No? Would you recommend it? No. No? I wouldn't at all, no. And would you dine here again? No, I wouldn't dine here again. So the wait times in Epcot are super high again. I think it's because it's this Columbus Day holiday thing maybe still here today. Um, but we're not going to be queuing up. 30, 40, 50 minutes for any ride. So we're just gonna go wander around World Showcase, get a beer, probably, a couple of beers, fireworks, and then we'll see what the ride times are like once everyone leaves the park. So just as we were leaving Nine Dragons, Ebony just come and said hello to us. So we met them yesterday. This is Ebony and Michelle, mother and daughter here from Tennessee. Yes. Yes. Uh, and they're going home tomorrow and it's really nice to bump into you yesterday you've joined our facebook group and you've subscribed to our youtube channel 
I just want to see you both again, so I'm going to put you in the video, if that's okay. all right. <laughs> so say, say hello to everybody. Hello everybody from lovely Orlando, but we're going back to Tennessee tomorrow. <laughs> but they're going to Amaretz first. Yes, we are. <laughs> to, get, to get the goodies to take home. Ebony, do you want to say hi or do you want to be not going to be on YouTube? I can. Hi. <laughs> Ladies, it's really lovely to meet you. Yes. Have a safe journey home. Please stay in touch. You're in the Facebook group now, so feel free yes. to chat and message and share your Disney love as well. It'd be great to stay in touch. Yes, it'll be And we'll be back in April, so if you're here in April, we may see you then. Hey, that one for your inauguration. Get ready, because tonight's performance of Epcot Forever will begin in just 30 minutes. Forever was amazing, said nobody ever. Oh my god, how disappointing was that really? It was just more like a firework display than a Disney show. Um, I saw Ed Pot Forever back in 2019 as well, and they had like all like kites lit up and stuff being dragged along by speedboats, and there was none of that. It was just like a fireworks, but nice fireworks. It was uh, nice to see the fireworks, but probably my least favorite Disney show nighttime show ever it's just nothing to it was there really yeah, no, so but we're glad we saw it i'm really excited for the new show that's coming out in december symphony i think it's called or something like that uh we'll go see that in april so let's let's keep our fingers crossed that's much better than, but tonight was no illuminations reflections of earth and it was no harmonious was it no. anyway we're gonna go get in line now for frozen ever after uh as it's now extra hours so let's see how long that takes, shall we? <laughs> I'll be out in a minute. Oh, and every purchase, free loot the fisk. <laughs> Wondering how can here. Happy summer snow day from me to you. done frozen ever after um it said it was a 45 minute wait but we knew it wasn't going to be it was about a 25 minute wait and now we're walking around to ratatouille um just to do that before we go back home to our resort so we did check with our um resort staff that the skyliner does remain open until the end of these extra hours so you can still get the skyliner back to the riviera if you're staying there it does stay open until afterwards so that's quite useful to know This has never ever happened to me before. It says the standby line is 10 minutes for Ratatouille. How amazing is that? Look at that. 10 minute wait. So earlier on the wait for this was about two hours. 
We've walked in with a 10 minute wait in these extra hours. How good is that? Very nice. So to check you're staying at one of the deluxe resorts, they do scan your magic band. Just one person in the party, just to check that that person is staying at a deluxe resort. If you're not staying there, they won't let you in. So uh, that is one of the very, very few benefits left of staying at a deluxe resort. As you can see, we're whizzing round this queue um, like no one has ever whizzed around it before. Chef Remy is waiting for you. This way. Qu'attendez-vous? Cette nourriture est pour nos invités, pas pour vous. Hey guys! The food is for them, not you! So, I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us for today. What a crazy day it's been. It was absolutely crazy busy. It's been so bad the last few days because of this bank holiday weekend for Columbus Day. It's really made me consider um, planning a little bit better to try and avoid them in the future. There's always something going on here though. It was so busy, we didn't do any rides at all at Hollywood Studios. But we did do some good shows and we did also um, go to Rodeo, no, Roundup Rodeo Barbecue, we said it wrong. Roundup Rodeo Barbecue for the first time. A new restaurant for us, uh, which was good to experience. We then came to Epcot for another new restaurant night, Nine Dragons. That one wasn't the best. It was all right, it was nothing wrong with it, but it wasn't, it wasn't amazing. And then we stayed for the extended hours. Uh, we've had a couple of drinks. I've had tried the prickly pear Schoffenhofer. Uh, David's had a couple of beers, um, all, all fine, nothing remarkable to tell you about those, but they were good. Uh, we did two rides during the extended hours, uh, we did Frozen Ever After, which took us about 25 minutes to get on. Uh, that was cool, because it was a much longer wait earlier on. And then we just did Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, and that was really great. It was a walk-on, it's never a walk-on, um, but yeah, that was really good. And I think we might be arriving at the Riviera now, are we? No, no. we're at the turn. We're at the turning station. Okay, cool, that's good. Uh, but yeah, Remy's Raptor 2 Adventure was a walk-on. It's never been a walk-on for me, ever. It was probably faster than doing the Lightning Lane. Um, yeah, great. So if you are staying at a deluxe resort, make the most of those extended hours because they really are great and they do save you so much time like we could have waited two hours for that earlier on obviously we wouldn't but, but we could have done and you could have done uh which is the point i'm trying to make so uh if you're staying at a deluxe resort and they've got the extended hours try to plan your trip around them so you get to do them really really worth the bar can't speak really really worth doing anyway that was today um tomorrow we are going to mickey's not so scary halloween party and we're going to a special dvc event at the boardwalk where you get to meet some of the villains or, or something, I'm not entirely sure. We're meeting up with Carol and Lee, and also Lisa and Bernie, um, who you might remember from the last vlog series from last year. Um, so yeah, it should be a really fun day. We're having a bit of a lazy morning at the Riviera, so I'll take you for a little jaunt around the resort. Uh, we'll do a little bit of pool time, if the weather's nice. Uh, and then we've got those two events tomorrow, so it's gonna be quite a late night tomorrow, so we're gonna try and have a lay in in the morning, sleep in as long as we can. I don't think we've got any reservations tomorrow for food. Um, we may have one for Topolino Terrace, but I don't think we do. I think that's the day after. Um, but I could be wrong on that. Anyway, um, that's the end of today. That's what's coming up tomorrow or next week for you. So all that remains to tell you is a couple of things. So if you've liked this vlog, and I'm sure some of you have and some of you won't have, and that's fine, you know, it, it won't be for everybody. Uh, our madness um, but if you have liked it please give us a big thumbs up 
share it with your friends as well and if you can as well put us on your insta story as well try and get some more people to come along and subscribe for us that'd be really great on that point make sure that you are subscribed you've got that little notification bell clicked so you get told when our next video comes out and there's only one thing left to tell you before i say good night and that is never grow up good night